Hey peoples, Karina here coming to you with this video. As you see, the title is below. I ain't drinking on no Cabernet Sauvignon right now because, yeah, I'm just not. Uh, I don't feel like it today. And besides, all I have left is red, plain, and Chardonnay. And I don't feel like having none of those today. Ooh, I just did. I didn't think I could rhyme. I didn't think I was going to get it, but I got it. Anyway, this video is not going to be very long. You see the title below, right? Bitch don't kill my vibes. Energy vampires are not just mean, okay? You have some people that want you to feel sorry for them, guilty about not doing something for them. Um, manipulative as fuck. Just, you got some people that just literally try and like, I've experienced this. I'll have somewhere to be real, real quick. And that'll be the right time for somebody to say, oh, help me with this real quick, real quick, real quick. I'm like, I already got somewhere I need to go. To bed. Please, 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 God bless you. Like, come on now. Don't, don't, don't throw God up in the mix now. Because if I don't get my ass to where I need to go, something ain't going to happen the way I need it to happen. Okay, so, yeah, you have them right now urgency ass people be like you got to do this for me right now at this right second you know you know what i'm not gonna let nobody put the pressure on me like that or i've had moments where people will say uh will always just fucking complain 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 about something that they can do something about okay if you are sitting your if you're allowing your man to sit his ass at your house to babysit the kids which aren't his, maybe one is his, and this ain't a black thing or a white thing. Although I know more white women in this situation than black women, okay? A lot of black women ain't going to deal with that shit. They're not going to say, oh, you can sit up at the house and eat the baby cereal and drink the baby Capri Sun. No, fuck that shit. We'd be like, no, ain't nobody drinking my baby's juice but my baby. But anyway, some people who allow their man to do that to them and say, oh, I'm going to let him stay at home. And which is nothing wrong with that. But I mean, if you at work 12 hours a day and the man is at home with the babies you come home, the dishes piled up in the sink, the motherfucking trash ain't took out, and everything else like that to where you feel so fucking drained that when you go to work, people ask you questions, and you start popping off on them and just, oh, I'm tired. Uh, uh, uh. You don't understand what it's like to have kids. and uh, uh, uh. Come on now. Why are you being an Eeyore? You knew what the fuck it was from baby daddy number one, baby daddy number two, baby daddy number three, baby daddy number four. Do you feel what I'm saying? Um, some people get scared to fucking death after baby daddy number one. Maybe baby daddy number two. But the moment you let a motherfucker sit there and do that shit to you outside of work, and then you gotta go to work and deal with the work shit and then you know you can't even take care of your shit at the house but you want to sit there and let people go cry to you and dump more shit on you than what you already have and y'all don't even understand that's like fucked up energy all type of ways you will got a manipulator coming to that person being like Oh, well, I need you to do this for me or do that for me. Then the other person is tired as fuck. See, people who just tired, like when I'm talking about tired, I'm talking about tired. Like they literally keep people in their life that make them tired. You know what I'm saying? And they don't, they don't give a fuck about the person at home using them. So why you want to get all stick your chest out, say it with your chest when you get to work with well, other people that'll ask you a little bitty tiny ass question. Uh, you manager on duty? You the shift leader on the duty? Whatever like that. Why the fuck are you being an Eeyore? That's not our fault, boo. That your man don't want to at least clean the house. If you saying, you're saying, but I feel the energy is different. When I look into your eyes, I know that you died. You want him to go to work. 
but you tell these other new people, oh, you should tell your husband to stay at home and watch the kids. Bitch, you ain't finna get nobody if you don't stop lying and trying to get other people to be in that sad, sorry excuse of a life that you're dealing with. That's fucked up. Been there, done that. Be like, you know, no, ain't no motherfucker finna be sitting there with me and my son and like, why in the fuck? That's just a whole nother video topic for another time. But look, if somebody is dragging you down in the home, you claim to know how to spiritually cleanse yourself. You claim to know how to do this and that. But some people only just use lingo and shit. And you don't think just because your body built like a black girl, you feel like, yeah, it's nice when people compliment you. I like when people compliment my body. Well, sometimes, sometimes I don't like being fucked with. But you know what? Just come off and say, damn, girl, you look good. Let me hit that. You ain't got to say yes. Damn, them titties look good. Let me suck on one of them hoes. Damn, that ass look nice. Let me spank that ass. Let me put a little something in you. Let me nut off in you. I'm sorry. I don't sugarcoat shit. But can you control your urges just enough to be like, look, I know it was hard with one baby, two baby, three baby, whatever like that. I was so motherfucking scared of the traumatic experience that I done been through with my child. I was like, ah, mm, I ain't having no baby. Nobody else. If this motherfucker ain't my husband, I ain't having no baby. Nobody else. Having no baby with nobody else. Okay? That shit's not going to happen. Some people can snap back into reality just like that. Other people take them like a lot of times to hit their head. If you know that somebody is causing you to stress the fuck out at home to the point that you go releasing all that negative energy on your co-workers or even your superior to the point that they get tired just when they look at somebody wrong you know what get out of my face just get out you know what you are indirectly like poisoning the fuck out of people without saying a word you know what I'm saying? Like, have more respect for yourself. You can't sit there and tell nobody nothing is going to be okay in their life if you ain't got control of your own life. Sure, some things in life happen. But when you deliberately put yourself in situations to where shit keep happening over and over and over and over again, who fault is that? Is that everybody else's fault? No. If you know that somebody is telling you Cause look, every time she would try to put sob story on me about, she, you know what? I tell her like this. I told her some months ago, you knew it was hard. I knew it was hard with one baby. So I decided not to do that shit again with multiple people. So why would you do that? And then try to make like everybody got to feel sorry for you. For the fact that you could not keep your legs closed. Why do you have to try to make like it's everybody's fault? Because your man don't want to do nothing at home. I've seen to where some people be like, oh, my husband be at home. Uh, I work, blah, blah, blah. But here's the kicker. The husband got that motherfucking house clean. The husband got them kids bathed, dressed, ready for school, took to school, whatever like that. To where a woman can fucking be at peace. When you see a woman got more than three or four kids and she comfortable, then one or two things has happened. Either she got a good man there to help her or she's strong than a motherfucker and don't feel like complaining to nobody because complaining ain't going to change the motherfucker situation. It's not going to put the kids back in the uterus, shrink your stomach down, put the nut back in the nigga dick that didn't have it in your pussy. I'm just saying... I'm just being fucking for real. That's nobody's motherfucking fault, bro. But sure, you can't make people pay for your mistakes or make people share in on the pain that you're dealing with when you are the one that couldn't keep your legs closed. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. I mean, shit. If I, let, if I let everybody hit, because they say, damn, girl, I like your body, girl. I like your thighs, girl. I like your titties, girl. Child, I would have a fucking busloads of kids. You got to learn how to take a compliment sometime. Be like, thank you, and don't open your legs, okay? 
Ain't nothing wrong with being cute. Ain't nothing wrong with flossing what you got. But, bitch, the whole neighborhood don't need to see your pussy. And that's just facts. If you offended by this video, then I don't know what to tell you. If you not, great. <laughs> but anyway, I just felt like I needed to get that out of the way. With holiday time coming up and all that good stuff like that, more and more women will switch from that, uh, I don't know if I want to say switch or whatever. You got some people who act like their baby is a burden most of the year, then switch up and tell people, oh, I'm so thankful for my kids. I want to do this and I'm do that for them. They talk about they talk like that around the holidays and then income tax time. Then after that, it's like sit y'all a motherfucking ass down. You know you gonna treat your kids like shit after the time that the money, the extra money come and extra. What the fuck? Babies are not paychecks. But that's another topic for another time. Okay, holla.